I was trying to pull, giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Hey, the car's fine. It's good to get a change for the cap. You don't have to be nice about it. Spins a tin can! So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This is their first drop-off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello. Jeez, watch the road! Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. As long as we're careful. Now. They're still on us! Today, not this junker. We're okay. As long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through. You want a bottle? Just ask. Keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no get back. Big drinker. I used to tip the drive careful. We don't need the attention. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. For us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom, it's the places we deliver to. Games they got in these places. There's tables, there's food, there's skirt. Some way to live. Right. Hey, it's their cars we're wrecking today, not this junker. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Okay, it's close by. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. We put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name Careful, schmuck. asshole. Come on, over here. <clears throat> you gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Boston sent us out on more chops. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. City real pissed. Thanks and be careful. What the hell are you doing? What do you 
mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep looking out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over us like that. You got it. Now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Come on, Tom. We're up against it here. Look on these moves. This is gonna be priceless. No driving that again. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, get away from the car. Come Mouth get him. Down, you got some kind of death wish? Just like this old dog. Come on, Tom. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. Throw some fire. Don't torch themselves? Not easily, anyway. Take out a bottle, light, and throw. Simple. I'm not gonna do it for you. Yeah. Yeah, Morello's crew would have heard that. Old Block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car. I'm gonna know where you keep. Reports of burning vehicles and gold fire in North Park. Take it. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! There's Don't let him get away! Five. 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 Oh, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and get clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. Well, let's not get them real pissed. Okay, I lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. Drive safe. They're still looking for us. Let's go! All cars pursuit is called off. Abandoned search of... We're good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Celieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How did it feel? Feel good? Drive careful. We don't need the attention. How did it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. You've had more of an introduction than I ever got. 
You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle or... Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A b -b better car with a b -b broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust, Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. 
A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You, Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. Here he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive? Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe they'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Now, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. Not at me. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey. The Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Finny. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? We spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the car. Some motors to him. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside, easy. And an afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And. Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Come on, Tommy. Show me what you can do. Okay, it's a car. You got it. 
Have a good day for the fellas. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? <sighs> Seems so. <sighs> That's too bad. Oh. You crash, you make little Ralphie cry. Hey, Ralphie, I said, Tom sure can drive. No working after hours, cleaning up after me and Sam. <laughs> no chance of that, huh? <laughs> oh, Ralphie's just gonna love you. Drive safe, Tom. Molly's real delicate. Each time you crash, you make little Ralphie cry. <laughs> hey, Ralphie, I said. Tom sure can drive. No working after hours, cleaning up after me and Sam. <laughs> no chance of that, huh? <laughs> He's just gonna love you. Coast's clear. There's no noise, no cops. <laughs> hey, Ralphie, I said. Tom sure can drive. No working after hours, cleaning up after me and Sam. <laughs> no chance of that, huh? <laughs> drive safe, Tom. Molly's real delicate. Each time you crash, you make little Rafi cry. Drive safe, Tom. Molly's real belly. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. <sighs> That's too bad. Each time you crash, you make little Ralphie cry.
Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> Good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. She I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? It's at the back of the shop, Tom. Where's the money? Teron, fetcha! Voici succhiate in sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Via di qui! Lasciateci in pace! I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma, huh? Sam, <clears throat> Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha. <clears throat> so little now. She's turned <clears throat> into a pain in the ass, like her grandma. Let's <clears throat> her out. <clears throat> Real good. <clears throat> now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. Where's the money? Erron, fetcha! Voci succhiate in sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Via di qui! Lasciateci in pace! I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma, huh? Next up, we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Palo. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. <laughs> Guy used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in... 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Cops have noticed this, Tom. Get these flatfoot bastards off our ass! Yeah. 
We keep some of these guys on our bucks to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so... Sam, you sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She's got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. He buys it for him. I don't think he's had to pay rent this whole past year. You know, he's some son of a bitch. Some days I yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, a guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige.
Okay, there it is. Finally! Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on.
I see him. They're on me. Got me now. Get in cover. Why do you just rub them all out? Damn. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'd be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. He's okay. Inside. Hey, go get the money! Thank <laughs> you. 